Boom, yeah. became like a stock room. Incredible boy, really super. But now we're going to meet two people who've created an event that takes tackling homelessness to a whole new level. Massive. Joining us now are Dame Louise Casey and Josh Littlejohn, who is the co-founder of Social Bite. But together, they're co-creators of the World's Big Sleep Out. Welcome to The One Show. Thank you. This is going to be amazing, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to be huge, absolutely huge, particularly yeah. if everybody decides to join us. That would be even better. Thank you. Well, we'll, we'll get into how you want to <laughs> help you out in, in a moment. Nothing ventured. Yeah. Uh, exactly. But Josh, let, let's just start with you, really, and your kind of first experience mm. of homelessness or somebody that was homeless that you yeah. came across? Well, this kind of campaign sort of, the, the origins started about seven years ago. Um, I co-founded a organisation called Social Bite, which has basically started as a very small sandwich shop in the middle of Edinburgh. Right. Um, we met this young guy just by accident really called Pete, who was 19, he was homeless, he was selling the big issue magazine on the street corner outside the shop uh -huh. and he came in this day and asked us if he could have a job and we sort of thought, you know, why not? And that was sort of the origins of us engaging with that issue um, and, and learning more about it and over the last seven years we've kind of really expanded our work and particularly over the last couple of years we've developed this big event in Scotland called Sleep in the Park where over a two-year period we've had about 18,000 people uh, sleep out yeah. and raise about eight million pounds so and the uh, first one was below Edinburgh Castle yeah it in, was uh, 2017 yeah. um, so this year we Gosh. thought we kind of wanted to take that um, and create a real moment of global solidarity and, and, and we started to kind of reach out to, to other cities mm -hmm. so Dame Louise you've dedicated your career to tackling homelessness so mm. can you just explain to us how big a problem it is for people who don't really know so the problem with homelessness in the United Kingdom at the moment is really pretty awful. So there's around about 5,000 people that are literally on the streets uh, every night of the week. But behind that, there's about 80 to 90,000 families that are struggling in temporary accommodation. There's about 100,000 children that are living in those homeless families. Mm -hmm. So the issue is very broad. They're the people that you would see outside BBC Broadcasting House who are sleeping on the streets. There are people that you won't see who are struggling mums who are literally queuing at food banks to feed their children. And I think the thing that really um, brought Josh and I together is I think that we feel united in our determination to give the public a way to do something to help homelessness. I think compassion is a huge issue in the United Kingdom. I think we're a really caring country yeah. and I think we really want to do something about it. Because it is a problem that you, you might not necessarily see because, it's, you know, if you're at home in the evening mm. and stuff, you won't see that people are sleeping out necessarily. Mm. Well, the key date is the 7th of December, so yeah. it's winter time. It's really important that people can engage in that concept as well and the conditions. Yeah. So what, what, what are you hoping for on, on the 7th of December? And are you inviting people to yeah. venues or do you want people to be, you know, sleeping yeah. out at home in the gardens? And stuff? Yeah, so, like, basically when we decided we wanted to take this to an international scale, um, we wanted to try and get some really amazing, iconic global locations. So yeah. Um, about six, seven months ago, I cold called the New York City Parks Department. Um, you just I, rang up. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did and yeah. I said, um, you know, pitch the event and said we want to raise millions of pounds and we're looking at Central Park. And they said it'll be impossible to do here. They said there's uh, no, um, there's a curfew, there's no precedent for it. The NYPD won't sign that off. They said you would need to get the mayor behind it. Um, so long story short, I went out to New York. I set up a load of random speculative meetings. I ended up meeting the former uh, chief of staff to Mayor Rudy Giuliani, and I showed him a video from an Edinburgh event, and he said, picked up the phone there, and then he said, I'm going to phone someone in the mayor's office, and he said, you've got to give this guy 10 minutes. And then I met them, and they said, look, Central Park might be tricky, but um, what we could maybe do is Times Square. Um, so now we have... <laughs> <laughs> the centre of the world. <laughs> So I was like, you know, that, that could be good. So um, then I got in touch with Louise and asked her if she could help us with London. And she, as, as you do, text Sadiq, Sadiq Khan. Yeah. Um, and then now we have Trafalgar Square. So basically where we are today mm. is launching this with 15 cities throughout the world, inclu yeah. including Delhi and India. We've got every capital in the United Kingdom, Dublin, Newcastle. Um, so 
people can take part either by coming to one of these events and sleeping out and raising money. Mm -hmm. uh, the target ultimately is to raise 50 million dollars, so a really big target, but you can also do it in your own garden yeah. um, with yeah. your kids, you can do it in your office car park, do it in your school, your Just university. get sponsored to do some. Sponsored and sleep yeah. out and on the 7th And just quickly, who have you got on board? Because you've got some big names. So um, we've got, one of the things we did last year is a bedtime story, um, so we've managed to get Will Smith to do a bedtime story from New York and Dame Helen Mirren to do it in London and hopefully we're going to reach out to lots of musicians and lots of people to get involved but the key message is please join us to really create this global moment of solidarity to raise uh, an awful lot of money and, and kind of you know come together to do something good. If anybody cares about homelessness, if they care about people in this country or indeed worldwide, this is the moment. You know, mm. we want, we've got Every capital of the United Kingdom, Dublin, Santiago in Chile, New Delhi in India, Chicago, and we want 40 more cities around the world. Mm. We want to raise money to help homeless people here, but to help people the less fortunate globally. So you can do it in your park, you can do it anywhere, but please, yeah. please join in. We've got six months to pull this off, mm -hmm. and we're going to really go for it, um, aren't Good we? Luck. Well, there we are. Yeah. Well, huge congratulations with how oh, far you've him. gone with it so it's far. All what you've made happen is brilliant. And um, our one show audience will respond to you, wait and see. <laughs> anyway, uh, the world's big sleep out, as Josh was saying there, is December the 7th, and you can find more information up on our website. We're off to the